The 3M Allergen Protein Rabbit Kit contains the following components. 26 extraction tubes to prepare extracted samples. 25 individually packaged lateral flow devices, specific for each allergen. 50 ml of 3M extraction buffer, which is specific for each allergen and kit lot. The 3M Allergen Protein Rapid Kit is intended for screening for the presence of allergen proteins in Clean in Place CIP final rinse water, environmental swab samples, food ingredients, and processed food products. Before running a test, be sure to read the product instructions for use document thoroughly. To analyze Clean in Place CIP final rinse water samples, label one microcentrifuge tube for each CIP sample. Then add 800 microliters of 3M extraction buffer to a labeled microcentrifuge tube. Next, add 200 microliters of the Clean in Place CIP final rinse water sample. Shake vigorously or vortex for 15 seconds to mix thoroughly to obtain an extracted sample. Remove one 3M allergen protein lateral flow device from the package and place it on a clean, dry, flat surface. Each cassette is labeled with the specific analyte for easy identification. Label the cassette with the appropriate sample ID. Transfer 100 microliters of the extracted sample using a clean transfer pipette or pipette tip. Apply it to the sample well on the 3M Allergen Protein Lateral Flow Device and start the timer for 11 minutes. For analyzing environmental swab samples, first label one microcentrifuge tube for each sample. Then, add 500 microliters of 3M extraction buffer into a labeled microcentrifuge tube. Next, take a sterile swab and dip the entire tip into the microcentrifuge tube, wetting the tip with the 3M extraction buffer. Gently express excess liquid from the tip by pressing the swab tip lightly on the inside of the tube. Then take the wetted swab and survey a 10 by 10 centimeter surface area, maintaining the swab at a 30 degree angle with the surface. Rub and rotate the swab back and forth over the surface area, alternating directions three times for thorough coverage. Next, take the swab, insert it back into the pre-labeled tube, and swirl it several times to release any residues that might be on its surface into the 3M extraction buffer. Break off the swab tip in the tube and cap it tightly Shake vigorously or vortex 15 seconds to mix thoroughly to obtain an extracted sample. Mm -hmm. 
Then remove one 3M Allergen Protein lateral flow device from the package and place it on a clean, dry, flat surface. Each cassette is labeled with the specific analyte for easy identification. Transfer 100 microliters of the extracted sample using a clean transfer pipette or pipette tip. Apply it to the sample well on the 3M Allergen Protein Lateral Flow Device and start the timer for 11 minutes. To analyze liquid samples, first label one microcentrifuge tube for each sample. Then measure 900 microliters of 3M extraction buffer into the labeled microcentrifuge tube. Next, add 100 microliters of a well-mixed sample. Shake vigorously or vortex for 15 seconds to mix thoroughly. Then remove one 3M allergen protein lateral flow device from the package and place it on a clean, dry, flat surface. Each cassette is labeled with the specific analyte for easy identification. Label the cassette with the appropriate sample ID. Transfer 100 microliters of the extracted sample using a clean transfer pipette or pipette tip. Apply it to the sample well on the 3M Allergen Protein Lateral Flow Device and start the timer for 11 minutes. To analyze liquid chocolate samples, first, label two microcentrifuge tubes for each sample. To make a prepared sample, add 500 microliters of a well-mixed liquid chocolate sample. And then add 500 microliters of 3M extraction buffer into one labeled microcentrifuge tube and shake vigorously or vortex for approximately 15 seconds to mix thoroughly. Next, add 900 microliters of 3M extraction buffer into the second labeled microcentrifuge tube and add 100 microliters of the prepared sample from earlier.
Shake vigorously to mix thoroughly, or vortex for approximately 15 seconds. Then centrifuge the tube for 20 to 30 seconds at 5,000 to 7,000 rotations per minute. The supernatant is the extracted sample. Next, remove one 3M allergen protein lateral flow device from the package and place it on a clean, dry, flat surface. Each cassette is labeled with the specific analyte for easy identification. Label the cassette with the appropriate sample ID. Transfer 100 microliters of the extracted sample from the second tube prepared earlier using a clean pipette or pipette tip. Apply it to the sample well on the 3M allergen protein lateral flow device and start the timer for 11 minutes. Grind a sufficient amount of sample into a fine homogeneous powder. To analyze solid samples, label one microcentrifuge tube for each sample. Next, measure 0.2 grams of the sample into a labeled microcentrifuge tube. Then add 1.8 milliliters of the 3M extraction buffer to the sample in the microcentrifuge tube. And shake vigorously or vortex for 15 seconds to mix thoroughly. Next, centrifuge the tube for 20 to 30 seconds at 5,000 to 7,000 rotations per minute. The supernatant is the extracted sample. Then remove one 3M allergen protein lateral flow device from the package and place it on a clean, dry, flat surface. Each cassette is labeled with a specific analyte for easy identification. Label the cassette with the appropriate sample ID. Transfer 100 microliters of the extracted sample prepared earlier from the middle aqueous layer using a clean pipette or pipette tip. Apply it to the sample well on the 3M allergen protein lateral flow device and start the timer for 11 minutes. Although the procedure for analyzing samples for the presence of allergens varies depending on the material being sampled, the interpretation of results is the same for all procedures. Each lateral flow device may result in the generation of three lines. The control line that is next to the letter C on the 3M allergen protein lateral flow device. The presence of this line will indicate that the sample has run through the membrane successfully. The test line that is next to the letter T. This line will indicate the presence or absence of the analyte of interest at the indicated level of detection. The hook line that is next to the letter H and in between the T and C lines. This line safeguards against false negatives if excessive amounts of protein are present in the sample. The hook line is present on all 3M allergen protein lateral flow devices except the lateral flow device in the 3M gluten protein rapid kit. Note that some 3M allergen protein lateral flow device cassettes might not have an H marking on the side of the cassette. Read the 3M allergen protein lateral flow device at 11 minutes after the sample application.
Any reading after 12 minutes from the initial application of the sample into the 3M allergen protein lateral flow device should be considered invalid. A reading at this time cannot be interpreted and can lead to erroneous results. A sample is considered to be negative for the allergen protein when only the two lines furthest from the well, the control and hook lines, are visible on the 3M allergen protein lateral flow device. A sample is considered to be positive when all three lines, test, hook, and control lines, are visible on the 3M allergen protein lateral flow device. A sample is considered to be invalid if the 3M lateral flow device does not develop the middle hook line. The absence of the hook line on the 3M allergen protein lateral flow device alerts you that the sample may be overloaded with the allergen protein and the extracted sample needs to be diluted. A sample is also considered to be invalid if the 3M allergen protein lateral flow device does not develop the control line.